Today I'm going to show you how to do the arrow pattern. To do this pattern, you'll need to learn how to do a right and a left-handed knot. Don't worry, I'll remind you. And before we start, also a reminder that you can use the butterfly clip when your strings get a little too short. For this pattern, you'll need to pick out your five favorite colors. Once you have, fold them in half, and at the very top, take all of your strings and make a an half inch knot. This knot will be used to finish your bracelet and to hold it in place under the butterfly clip. Now for the arrow pattern, it does matter the way you arrange your strings. The same color in number one must be in number 10. So if I put blue in my number one, blue also needs to be in my number 10. Next I'm going to do purple in my number two, so that means in my number nine I'll need purple also green in number three, so I should have the same color for number eight. My number four is going to be pink, and so will my seven, leaving the same color left for five and six. We're going to start out with the right-handed knot. Pick up string number one in your right hand and string number two in your left. Create the four, pull it up through the middle, and tight towards the butterfly clip. Make a number four, pull it up through the middle, and pull it tight towards the butterfly clip. Your number two string will go in your one and pick up your number three. Do another double right-handed knot, and your string number three will go in number two, pick up number four, and repeat the same double right-handed knot. Your number four string will go into three, pick up your five, and do another double right-handed knot. Make sure you're pulling your string tight towards the butterfly clip. Now that you've placed your number five string in your four, take this string and put it in your number five slot. Now take your number 10 and I'll show you how to do the left-handed knot. Keep the number 10 string in your left hand and pick up the number nine in your right. Make a backwards or a reverse four and pull your string through the middle. Make two of those knots and your number nine string will move to 10. Pick up your number eight and make the reverse four and pull the string through the middle. Your eight will go to nine and pick up your seven and make the same reverse four. You'll make two knots for this one also. Your seven will move to eight and pick up number six Once the six goes to the seven, you should have the two blue in your center. Just make two simple knots like you're tying your shoes. That will help put your arrow together. Now I'll show you again starting from the outside. Pick up the number one in your right hand and the number two in your left. Make two right-handed knots Move the two to the one, pick up the three, two right-handed knots, pull it tight, move the three to the two and pick up the four. Two right-handed knots, four to the three and pick up the five. Two more double right-handed knots. Put your five in the four and your original number one in the five slot. Now we'll go back to the left-handed knot. Pick up the number 10 in your left hand and the nine in your right. Make your reverse four and pull it through the center. Another backwards four and pull it tight towards the top. Move your nine to your 10 and pick up your eight. Two double knots. Pick up the number seven. Two left-handed knots, move the seven to eight. Pick up your number six and do two more left-handed knots. Now both your purple strings should be in the center again. So just do two simple knots to bring your arrow together. The more arrows you complete, the longer your bracelet will grow. 
Make sure you keep pulling your string tight towards the butterfly clip. For this pattern, you're always working your way towards the inside. Before you know it, your bracelet will be long enough to wear. But just to double check, unclip it from the butterfly clip and wrap it around your wrist. This one's the perfect size for me, so I'm gonna show you how to finish. Put your bracelet back under the butterfly clip. Take three strings from the right and three from the left. And then make a simple braid. This braid will help you tie the knot to finish off your bracelet. Once you think your braid is long enough, just loop it around, make a knot, and push the knot up towards your friendship bracelet. And now we're gonna make another knot right on top of that one. Pull it through, make sure all your strings are in there, and pull it nice and tight. Now that we've finished our knot, you can unclip it from the friendship bracelet maker and that knot should fit perfectly in the loop you made in the beginning. Now feel free to share them with your mom, your sister, or whoever.